Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's exploration of the solar system, we are going to talk about the Apollo 13 mission to the moon. Now, what was Apollo 13? Well, it was planned to be the third of the moon landings and was launched on April 11th of 1970. We see the crew of Jim Lovell, Jack Swigert, and Fred Hayes pictured here. And this was the one mission that did not actually land on the moon. It was the one Apollo mission between Apollo 11 and Apollo 17 that was unable to, hap to land on the moon. And at on April the 13th at little after 10 p.m. Eastern time, the there was a rupture in the oxygen tanks that vented oxygen out into space. Now we can see a picture of some of that damage here and you can see the damaged craft on the left hand side. This was the contained the command module uh, section. So this was the main portion of that the command module itself had already separated now and this was looking back at the, the piece of equipment that had been damaged in the accident days before. Now you can see that a big part of it is torn away and one of the problems was they did not know what the damage was to that engine. So when we look at this, how can we return these astronauts safely to Earth? We knew at this point that there was going to be no way that they were landing on the moon. But there were a couple of options to bring them back to Earth. And the quickest way would be an abort maneuver, which just turns it around and brings it back. However, that does require the use of that engine. And we did not know if that main engine was damaged. And trying to fire that could have caused further damage or could have made it impossible to return to the astronauts to Earth. So the easiest thing and one of the safest things to do was just to keep it going, keep it heading toward the moon, loop around the moon and use the moon's gravity to bring it back to Earth. So this is what was done. However, because of the loss of oxygen and in the command module and the need to save power, it had the command module had to be shut down that saved power for re entry. The command module itself is the only way to get those astronauts back to Earth. Now we can take a look at that here. Let's look at the cra overall craft itself. The command module here on the left hand on the sorry on the right hand side this is the engine that we didn't know whether it was going to whether it survived or whether there was damage to it and that was important the, the what we really needed was the module that would bring them back to earth and that's this portion right here that has the heat shield that was needed to survive a trip through the atmosphere so essentially the command module here had to be shut down. The astronauts then moved into the lunar module and used that as a lifeboat. So that was their way of being able to survive. They had enough material in there for two people to be able to survive on the moon for a couple of days. And now they used that for all three astronauts to be able to travel around the moon and then come back to Earth. At that point, they were separated out back into the command module and had to power that back up in order to get the computers and everything running for landing. And then once that separated, we were able to look back and see where the damage occurred as we looked at in that very first image. So they were then the astronauts were then safely returned to Earth and traveled around the moon, but of course were not able to land on the moon. So we were able to successfully return them to Earth. So let's summarize a little bit about this. The Apollo 13 mission was the one that was not able to land on the moon. There was a rupture in an oxygen tank that caused damage to the command module and the crew then used the lunar module attached to there flew around the moon and were then safely returned to Earth. So that concludes this lecture on the Apollo 13 mission. We'll be back again next time for another topic in exploration of the solar system. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.